Hi, in this screencast I wanted to take you through a quick uh, overview of setup of Apple TV for a school setting. We are using this on a Promethean board, so I'm taking a video of a projection, so it's a little fuzzy, but you'll get the basic idea. Uh, we've just plugged in the Apple TV, it's all uh, plugged in and powered and ready to go. The first thing it's going to do in our setup is ask us for our language, so we'll go ahead and select English. So after we have selected our language, it will bring up a screen that looks like this, and it asks you now to connect to your Wi-Fi network. We are going to connect to a wireless network because we are going to use AirPlay with our iOS devices, and so they both need to be connected to the same wireless network. So I'm going to go ahead and select the one that we're going to connect to. In our case, it's called um, let's see, WNN is the one we're going to use right now for our teachers. And now you're going to go through the screen and using the Apple remote you're going to move through and put the password in for that. So I'm going to pause this just for a moment while I put in the password. Now once I've gone through the process of entering the password and selecting each of the characters then I'm going to go over to submit and I'm going to hit submit and it will take a few seconds for it to connect. Once it's connected, you'll see a screen like this. It says you can help improve Apple and its products, and we're just going to say no thanks on that for our setup today. It's going to load now to our main page. Take a couple seconds depending on our internet connection. Now, um, let's go right over the... F this is your home screen, but we're going to go to our settings. Okay, so there are several things that are available on here, but we're going to go over here to settings first. We're just going to start from the top. We're going to work on general. Um, the first thing is the name. So you'll probably want to name the device something. So we're going to go ahead and choose a custom setting. And I'm going to clear out the name that's on there. And you may want to call it a teacher's name, or you may want to call it a... Um, I, a room number. We're going to actually just use a room number for this. And we'll just call this one room one. And when we're done, we'll hit submit. Again, I'm using the Apple remote. Okay, it tells me which network I'm connected to. The next thing we're going to want to do is when we're going to want to go into this section called parental controls. If you noticed when the screen came up first, there were all kinds of movies, and sometimes those movies that are displayed may not be appropriate to show in school. Um, even though we're not actually watching the movies, they'll see the um, the front of the the packaging for the movie. So let's say turn on parental controls, and I always just keep it the same code that came with it. Okay. Passcode is confirmed. Now we can go through and we can make some changes. So we want to keep AirPlay allowed on the purchase and rental. Let's switch that to hide. Um, we don't really have to worry about the ratings, but um, you can go ahead and restrict that if you'd like. Explicit music and podcasts. We want to say ask. Um, iTunes match. If you have iTunes match and you plan to use that, with your Apple TV, you'd want to allow that. Netflix, we're not going to even allow that, so we're going to hide that. Hulu, we're going to hide as well. Major League Baseball, let's hide that. NBA, um, a lot of things that I think are just kind of distractions when they when this comes up. So I'm going to hide all of these things. I'm going to hide YouTube and Vimeo as well. I'm going to leave the podcasts available. And I'm actually going to say show and not even ask for that. Radio, I want to show that because I do want to allow the radio stations to be available. Photo stream, if someone wants to use their photo stream and Flickr. And then Wall Street Journal, we'll hide that as well because we don't really need that. Now to go out from the screen, you always hit the menu on your remote button. Um, this is where you can do your updates. Set your time zone. Let's go ahead and do that while we're here and say set automatically on my menu button to go back to the home screen 
All right, I'm going to hit the menu once more to go back a menu. The last thing, you can also pick a screensaver if you'd like. The last thing that I usually do is go to AirPlay. And once I'm in AirPlay, I'm going to select something called on-screen code. You can decide if you want this or not. On-screen code will display an on-screen code that's required to be able to AirPlay your device. So in other words, someone has to see that on-screen code to be able to AirPlay. If not, then they won't be able to AirPlay to this room. So it gets kind of confusing if someone accidentally AirPlays to the wrong room, but that can not happen in this case if you have the on-screen code turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and select on for that. Okay, and you can also go down to um, in the general settings and select when you would like the device to go to sleep. It's still accessible, but sometimes people would like it to stay on longer than just one hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll hold down the menu button for a few seconds and it will take me immediately back to this home screen. Now you notice all of those things that were on the home screen are gone, the movies and all those things. So we're just down, stripped down to the very basics. Now at this point, if I want to be able to airplay a device, I'll take out my iOS device. And I'm going to push my home button two times until I see the airplay button. I'm going to say, let's airplay to this room. Now notice, here comes the, air, the airplay code, and now I have to enter that code to be able to airplay. And sometimes it takes a second for it to pop up on the device. So, I've now selected that. Let's say mirror. And then now there's my device airplane to the screen. So, those are the basics of how we do our setup with the Apple TV in a school setting. I just wanted to share that. Thank you.